Right here in Studio 3B, a mysterious hole appeared this morning. It was slightly larger than a mouse hole, and no one had ever seen it before. Well, our fearless oh, stagehands see. investigated, and what they found was a collection of furry creatures, all different colors, and just 18 yeah. inches high. They lived in a strange underground maze of caverns and streams. Our stagehands soon realized that they were looking into the world of Fraggle Rock. The little creatures were singing and dancing and partying on, having a great time. They seemed like a lot of fun. We are not lost. I'll tell you, we're lost. We I... are not lost, oh, but I'm yes, sure look. the train will be along any minute. I know, <laughs> this is not a... Hey! Oh, what? Hey! What? 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 Good Excuse Lord, me. did you... That silly creature frightened me. Excuse me. Excuse me for interrupting, and oh. by the way, I am not a silly creature, and I find that remark extremely patronizing and not politically correct. I'm a human well, being. Oh. A human being? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Well, we call you silly creatures. You do. Um, this, this is That's a doozer. Do, yeah. That is Cotterpin Doozer. Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I dig your wheels, baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> and my name is Traveling Matt Fraggle. You're a Fraggle. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Well, I'm not just any Fraggle. I am a buffoon. That's true. A buffoon, and yes, you sound indeed. proud of it. I am absolutely proud of it. I just found out this morning. <laughs> uh -huh. Brian Gumpel told me so. Well, Brian, you know, sometimes calls me a buffoon, and I don't exactly take it as a compliment. But well, you do? That's of course I do. You're intelligent, and he's an idiot. That's right, and that too. Are you going to put up with that? Well, oh, I guess you like being called an idiot. A I buffoon. can take a compliment gracefully. So I'll call you a moron. Well, thank you very much. And in that's, the meantime, right. In the meantime, I want to ask Cotterpin here a few questions. Well, go right ahead there. Well, can hmm. you tell me a little bit about the land of Fraggle Rock? I'm not very familiar with it. Sure. What do I want to know? Well, hmm. what are doozers, for example? Well, no, I'm a doozer, you see, and I drive this little car, and I'm a worker, and uh, I'm very good at it, and uh, I build things, and uh, that's what I do for a living. What do you do? Well, I'm a, I'm a TV anchor woman. Uh-huh, uh -huh. uh huh Can you tell me oh, a little... Lord, what is this over well, here? Well that's, well, that's called a teleprompter. It's a camera. You're kidding. Yeah. A camera? Yeah, and that's where I read the things that I have to read when I'm here on the Today Show. That's it's fascinating. Like... You know, there are lots of little silly creatures in here. I know. I, I, I think Cotterpin probably needs to explain to you how this all works. They're yes? all eating breakfast. It's oh, fascinating. Oh, right. You're looking at the people at home. Yes, look at that. Ah. Millions of them. You know, they, he doesn't know much about technology, I fear. Oh, I see. Oh, no, that's not his strong point. Mm -mm. So you explain it to him? No, I don't even try. Oh. We, we don't We don't even bother. Not with Fraggles, no. They can sing, they can dance, they can play, but uh, technology's not their thing. Well, we should point out the reason why you two creatures are here this morning, because now we can visit Fraggle Rock at home for video cassettes oh, featuring oh. the goings-on in the secret world. See, I'm reading the teleprompter. Oh, I see. Of Fraggle Rock are now available from Jim Henson Video. For instance, there's a preachification of Convincing John. That's what it is. Yeah. And if you want to hear a story that is horrible and gory, let me tell you about a fraggle I knew. I knew. He was sitting on a byway, eating up a doozer highway in a way a hungry fraggle will do. We'll do. Then he started to change, and then he started to rearrange, and then I promise you the story is true. It's true. By the time it was done, he was a human being through and through. <laughs> Outrage! How did they get all those little fraggles in that box? Fraggles are... Oh, brother. Oh, brother. It's some kind right. of jail or something? You Good have, Lord. He's got a lot to learn, doesn't he, Cotterpin? Yeah, but I wouldn't bother. I just wouldn't bother. Well, well listen, mm -hmm. it's really nice meeting you both, uh, and I just wanted to... Are you related to Gene Shallot by any chance? Is that a slur of some kind? No, not at, not oh, at all, believe good, me. Good. Well, then, anyway, yes, I am. Absolutely. Well, it's nice talking to you, and we look forward to seeing more of you on video cassette, Matt. Good. Cotter thank Penn, you thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed this very much. Uh, well, who are you? Uh, I, my name's Katie, Katie and you're Matt. Good. Okay, oh, now, brother. still to come, Martha Stewart oh. on corn, and, and the, the fabulous, fabulous new babe from the new from film, the new film Rising, Rising Sun, Sun, Tia Carrera. Tia Carrera. Excuse me, that's my line. Oh, I'm I? sorry. <clears throat> but first... <clears throat> this is today on NBC. Oh, NBC. I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Did I do that. something wrong? Ah! Well, yeah, thank you. Do that again. Oh. <laughs> 